My wife and I and our kids came south uh, in 1989. And I figured it would be maybe for like a five year stint down in south. And then we would head back to Canada and then we would talk about all those crazy people in the south and those years that we spent down there, but we would never live there for the rest of our life. But that was 1989 and we're still there. I had had a real passion for learning more about finances. We were married young. I had to learn, we had to learn how to budget and how to handle money because believe me, every dollar counted and we needed to stretch it so far. So I actually self-taught myself by reading a lot of books um, about finances. And that wasn't gonna be my career though. That was like, this is how we're gonna survive. There came a point in my career that I said, you know what, I think I'm gonna jump into this and see if this is really what I'm wired to do. And so I started working for another firm, got licensed, got trained, got experience and so on. Worked for them for just a handful of years. And I remember coming home to my wife who had a really good job and I said, how would you feel about me being a kept man for a few years? I have this dream to start my own financial firm because you make enough money to pay all the bills right now, I could just try this and there's no pressure because if I don't make a whole lot of money, it's okay on the front end because we're just getting started and you can pay the bills. How does that sound like a good deal? Well, I guess I was a good salesman because she went for it. And so one client at a time, no office, we used to call it working out of the trunk of our car. I started to build a clientele of people. Soon we had five families and then 10 and then 20 and 25 and uh, on and on it built. She had this guy that worked for her that was a manager on her team with Bell South Mobility, John Maxson. And I had told her that I really wanted to expand and see about maybe building a company, not just being a one man shop and a one man show. And she says, I got this guy that I want you to talk to. I think he'd be really good in the business. And I'm like, yeah, you just want to pawn him off on me, don't you? And there's days that I actually feel like that, but no. I talked to John and um, I guess I was a good salesman again because I convinced him away from a really good career and not a whole lot to offer except a lot of blood, sweat and tears and hard work and you know, maybe we'd build a company together. And this was about 20 years ago and um, it's worked out okay. We've been really blessed.